Bet Online is your number one source for all your summer sports this season from MLB, golf, NBA, and NHL playoff stats. All the latest stats, news, and scores are available to you to follow your favorite teams. So get the latest odds and lines, including the latest team matchups, player props, and odds of just about every sport out there. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to get in the action. Bet Online, where the game starts. Uh, next is from Under Dawson, and subject is a question for Disco about Conan. Disco, you've spoken many times about why you didn't go to WWE many times. You were waiting out your WCW contract, and you're working TNA, and timelines just didn't match up. Well, what I'd like to know for your, from you, though, is what was your opinion of Conan not getting signed up there? Bruce Pitcher said in the show many times that not having you in the WWE roster was a mistake. Who, me or Conan? You. Me? Yeah. Bruce Pritchard has said that on his show? Yes. Well, he's the one that put the kibosh to me, though. Because Cornette thought I was... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but, but uh, let me say this. Um, what does it match up with the timelines? Uh, I, 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 no, no, he means he means when you're working at TNA, timelines timelines didn't match up to go to WWE. I guess no, no, my WCW contract was already expired. Okay, mm -hmm. I didn't go from my expired contract to TNA. I went. I was working overseas with Andrew McManus at WWE before I did TNA. Right, and that was a fun. That, that was fun because I had just made some decent money for for that quarter, <coughs> and Andrew paid us pretty a really good chunk of change to go do that tour. You know, remember Conan? It was yeah. Like, it was Andrew Payton, so we're like, yeah, let's go to Australia because we loved Australia. It's like this is perfect. You know, why not? You know, you know, do do all overseas Australia tours. I was like, this is what are we? What a gig this is. You know. And then stupid TNA fans, started stupid, uh, but, uh, during that time. I wasn't even considering WWE because I was just, I used to love Australia, and I got to Nick go. With Manus him. was a party or two, and he liked the tickets yeah. out to eat and oh yeah, it was great around cool chicks and like, right. Yeah, he was great. fun tours. Yeah. He took care of good catering. Oh, yeah. So you helped book that too, right, Di? What now? I helped. helped yeah. but, so yeah. if it, like I'm, uh, my dumb fan question is, you got paid to wrestle and then paid to be creative, two separate things, two separate well, deals. Maybe one chunk of change to do out right. to do it all. And it was it was good, for like a like a week and a half tour was really good money. Yeah, yeah. Um, next one's. Uh, Were well, you surprised that Conan uh, didn't go work for WWE during the 2000s? Not really, because there was a bunch of handful of us that were just. Burned out from WCW, and plus, too, you got to understand. I we had heard, or at least I had heard, that the morale up in the WB at that time was not that great in the locker room for some weird reason. I don't know why, oh. but I just remember that. So Johnny was in charge. He instituted yeah. the dress code. They, right, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I don't. I heard a lot. There was a lot of negative negative things going on back then. Yeah. Um, you remember that Conan? Yes. Yeah. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content. And being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.